see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that Welcome to Anything Is Possible Today we have hopefully a catch and cook We're out in Myerstown, Pennsylvania Which is about an hour and 20 minutes west of where we live And um haven't fished too much out here, so today's gonna be an exploring type day. We're here at uh, this quarry for, along the Tolpakin Creek, and we're gonna hit the lake real quick for bass, see if there's any trout in this stream. Um, I hear that this is a, a spot, well, this creek, which is really long, um, the Tolpakin Creek holds trout, browns and rainbows mainly all year long. Um, it's the tailwater of uh, Blue Marsh Lake, so it should hold steady and be good temperatures for trout. So we're going to explore that, and then uh, we're going to head on over to um, Limestone Springs, I think it's called. Uh, we've done a video there before. It's a little pay-to-fish place, and we're going to get trout. We're going to hopefully catch trout, and we've got our, uh, in this green bag here, we have a rub ready to go we're gonna rub them down gonna get the flays rub them down put them in there take them home and cook them up on the smoker stay tuned all right so there's trout in here i just went down saw a couple uh trout feeding and uh, decided to go back and grab my uh net in case we hook up so uh we're gonna cross over here down where the frisbee golf course is and try to fish from that side so this does have trout stock signs up but i don't think they did any fall stockings quite yet we're about a week or two from some of those and i'm not sure about this creek um, if they fall stock this one or not but um, at the very least these are holdovers um, so yeah the stream definitely holds them and this is just our first stop so it's good news I know I should be throwing a nymph first week in October, but uh, here's a little Walmart dry fly. And the reason I'm throwing this today is because we're going to go to the pay place to get some dinner. And I'm pretty sure they're going to hit it. And I want to see Kevin catch some on top water. Uh, so I'm going to try it. They're not going to hit the top. viewer discretion but we got a we got a death here the circle of nature look at the skull here what is that looks to be like a fox maybe anyone know what that would be it looks like a big tooth up front like uh inside that's where we saw that one day on the creek right yeah. i saw something like that on the creek maybe it's a it's a raccoon kind of the fur looks like a raccoon that's yeah easy. i think that's a raccoon let's let this guy well he's gone but let's leave him alone so no takers on the fly, but we've confirmed that there's still trout in here, so we'll be back. We're going to just drive around on the other side of this trees is the lake. That's really what we came to this spot for. We weren't going to trout fish right here. So let's get over the lake, and uh, it's a quarry. Let's get a closer look at that. So this is the quarry lake. I'll look it up and try to find the name and post it on the, when I do my edit here, but um, you can kind of see the cut rock. Definitely looks like a quarry. So I'm imagining huge drop-offs in the middle, super deep. Uh, which, so that's going to be a challenge to fish, but they're not going to be out super deep. They're going to be on the edges. So I'm just going to look for structure, take a few casts. And today's really about exploring, right? Yeah, I like this path. You can almost ride your bus down it. Almost. I just worked the buzz bait around the edges mostly. Um, you see this side over here will kind of look like a big beach. And then I guess that's the way that the trucks got in and out of here. Um, and then I imagine it would get super deep in the middle. And the other edges looked like they were sharper drop-offs just from what I could see. Uh, we saw a couple big fish jump. So we saw definitely there's some fish in here. And I uh, looked on like Fish Brain and uh, a couple social apps and even Google. And saw pictures of some big fish caught in here. And people that seemed like they kayak this um, but you never know what they're catching, if they're really catching those or not. Um, you know, and when they it could be 20 years ago, it was kind of hard to tell with the social pics. But anyway, it was a fun place to go around and uh, check out. 
Uh, before long, we got sick of it, and uh, it was time to pack up, and we moved on over uh, to the fish place, Limestone Springs. So we're over at the Peta Fish Place. You ready, Kev? Yep. Look at all these fishies. I'm gonna go get the rod. Not the most sporting thing, but where do you get your dinner from? We're gonna we're here just to catch fish for dinner, right? <laughs> just let it sit too. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. Ah. Oh. There you go. Now you're gonna get one. It's on. It's a brown. Yeah. A little brown trout. This way. There we go. That's a nice one. Yeah, don't snap your line. You gotta keep the tension off him. Okay. There we go. That's a nice one. Brown trout for the smoker. <laughs> Snapped it up too fast. There you go. Now start working it in. A good spot to teach somebody how to fish to fly rod. He's on, he's on, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh. Hey, can I, there you go. Can you get the normal rod out and I can try to catch that big one? No. Now let's get a couple on the fly rod. This is great practice. You can't keep catching from here. You ain't, there he goes. Yep, yep, keep on him, keep on him. You got him? Got it. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, buddy. Might have to walk with him. Don't worry about reeling. Let him pull on if he has to, okay? All right, don't let him go. Yeah, let me get the net. Okay. Take your time. He's a big guy. Take your time. He's not quite ready yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like he's still strong? Yeah. Okay, then take your time. Yeah, it's a big fish. I like to use my hand and not the, because uh, I can feel it better, and then you can just put your thumb on the reel to give him pressure. Here, bring him towards this rock. Yeah, bring him to the rock. I'll get out there further. Bring them to me, buddy. Bring them to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one, buddy. That's a nice one. That's why we like coming here. This is quality here. It's a big old fish. It's gonna be good to smoke. Take your time with it. Oh, don't let him go under there. There you go. It's a beautiful dark trout. Wow. 
big brown. Oh, careful with the line. Careful. Give them, let them run. You get the rod in like that, that's no good. You want to bring it up high. Don't bring it up any further than that. Don't reel it in any further. Bring them, bring them. Go over my head and back right at me. There we go. Is that a brown? That's a big old brown right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice colors. We won the special prize with this one. Nice spinner. I just spit my bait out. Yeah, let's make sure he doesn't drop it out of here. Good. Hold on. I want you to get a picture of this guy. He's targeting a huge one, so he's got his little jig on, we've got the spinning outfit, and he's trying not to catch the little ones. So you pay per pound here, so if you catch it, you got to keep it. That's the trick. It's not cheap, but it's great meat, and they're good, solid fish. They fillet them. We'll get these cleaned up, and she'll give us boneless fillets on ice, and then we'll, uh, we'll put the rub right on it in the car. And Get these guys marinating while we drive home. Great place to bring the fam. <laughs> this place is packed and they got the hatchery over here. This is where they raise them. I think they told me last year they raised like 10,000 trout. Hey, got uh, here. These fishies. There is a lot of space here. A lot of nice little rocks to fish off of. It's very well designed. It's got a big pavilion down at the bottom of this lake. It's got some natural water flowing into it. It's just a really beautiful place. He's on. There you go. That's a nice one. There you go. It's a good one, huh? Rainbow. Ready to net him? This way. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a solid one. And they are big fish here. Look at the bodies of these guys. Let's get a snap. I'm going to take these guys up, get them filleted, and put on ice. Yeah, boy. There's her fishies, cleaning, cleaning tag. It says how many fish are in there and what style we want. We're gonna do fillets, they weigh them. It's a cool little room, they got some ice. Let the pros do it, right? Yeah. Like take these guys home and put them right on the smoker. Well, marinate them. Yeah, icing them down. No, you're four are in the container right there. Watch how he does that. So you know what you're doing. See, that's the floating bones he took out there. Yeah, everybody's got tricks. 
Watch how everyone does it. You might learn a trick. Remember how they did the salmon with the pliers yeah. and took the skin off? I've been playing salmon for 30 years. I never saw that. Yeah. All right, we got our fillets here. They put them in the bag of ice so they're nice and cold. And we have a mix here, dry rub. I'll put the recipe uh, below. I'm just gonna use my hands actually. We're gonna put some of this like this. Get this in real good. Pat it on there. Flip it over. Do that one. You want to grab another piece out of the bag for me? That way I don't have fish hands going into this powder. Okay. And then lay it right on top. And flatten it out so I can get stuff on it equally. Perfect. That's good, like, okay. All right, flip it over for me. And then put it to one side. All right, put the next one in. This doesn't have to be pretty. Is there a big slice? Yeah. Look at how orange that meat is. Yeah, so you want this marinade or this dry rub. It's more of a marinade. It's got a lot of salt in it. Uh, you want it to sit four hours to 24 hours. You flip that over for me. I don't think we got the back side yet. There you go. So you're going to put this on there. If you're going to go out and harvest your meat, take care of it, right? Yep. Should be more in there? Yep. Okay. Hands getting numb? So this is brown and white sugar, garlic. I thought I smelled garlic. Yeah. Did I say chili? Chili powder. All right, flip that one up upside down. And it's important because of the salt content that we're rubbing in here. Uh, after it's done marinating, you, you gotta wash it off or else it'll be way too salty. Grab me another piece. And when you flip this one over, put it in a, on one of the sides, okay? Okay. Because they're all in the middle. We don't want them all in the middle. Okay. Got to keep them flat, though. Hey, smaller one. Okay. Flip it over? Yeah, flip it on that side. Okay. Got one more. Okay. Flip that one over. This one? Yep. All right, I think that's all. You sure you got them all? Let me just make sure. So that was four, four, four fish. Yeah. Poor big fish, it was like $60, so it's uh, not real cheap, but not real expensive. Just gonna plop the ice right on top. Close this up. Can we play a little bit of football? Um, close this up, and then we're gonna head to the next spot. All right, we made it back home and we got the fillets washed. We washed them under the sink and now we're gonna throw them in the fridge for three hours and then we're gonna smoke. All right, we're gonna smoke these guys up. It's the morning, we let them sit in the fridge overnight. 
Yeah, you only need three hours, but we didn't have the time to do it any differently. Um, so we let them sit overnight after rinsing them, and that's supposed to allow the fish to absorb the smoke uh, better. So uh, a little tip that I've learned in smoking is most of the smoke flavor is absorbed in the first uh, like 30 minutes. So make sure you get a good smoke going. So I think we got that ready. Here's the pile of wood. Kevin came out here, start cutting wood earlier. And we used a combination of uh, apple wood from our apple trees and um, cherry trees, not like wild cherry trees that we have growing. We don't buy wood chips. So uh, let me get this set up here and get, get the fish on the smoke. There's the first tray. Looks pretty good. Good to me anyway. Oh yeah. Skin side down. Skin side down. Give a little space between each one. gonna smoke them around 160 but as you can see uh, my, my machine's a little busted so I have a meat thermometer stuck in there and my uh, drip pans also busted so I just put a beer in there and opened it up All right, we're gonna let them uh, go about an hour and then we're gonna add a mixture of uh, like the honey and uh, brown sugar. I'm gonna make like a topping for it. Okay, it's been an hour and it's time to put the glaze on. I'm gonna put the recipe right here. You heat that up on the, the stove, stirring it constantly, and you get this, uh, this consistency. It's thin, but it's because it's hot. As it uh, cools, it, it's already starting to thicken as I brought it outside here. Let me get this going. All right, it's a cold morning out here, so sorry I'm all bundled up, but it's crisp. Let's pop this baby open. Woo! Yeah, boy. Now, I'm just going to slide these guys right out of there. Wow, there's a lot of liquid on these guys. There's a lot of liquid. I don't know if I want that to come off or not. There we go. Hope you can see this.
I'm going to space these out a little bit to help the uh, the water moisture get off of the uh, looks like it's pooling there a little bit so my beer looks good though looks real good down there not sure to pour the juice off or not it's a little more juice than I'm used to seeing on top of the trout trout are in the salmonoid family so they're actually same family oh no my beer it's not going to fit like that put it up one up there let's pop this other guy out yeah boy I left the skins on. You can do skins off or on. I think it comes out a lot better with the skin on. But all, right. all right, shut the door and get this thing back up to heat. We're gonna keep the heat around 160 for the first hour. Then once you put the glaze on, you wanna bump it up a little bit so that it's uh has that like little bit of a material to it. Uh, no, that's not the uh, culinary term for that, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if these are done. Sorry about the camera angle. Oh yeah, look at that. Get, get in here on that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that is a good one. Mm. Come out and try it. Break Maybe a piece. Gonna... That piece? Yeah, break a piece off of that. Not hot. Like that? Mm-hmm. That is good. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so Let's good. Go. Let's go, baby. There we go. Let's get these poise out and turn this off. Is yeah. That's all our trout? Yeah, now the bottom is a big one, so I'm going to let that sit in there. But these guys, I think, are completely done. Oh, God, yeah. Is it good? Oh, my God. Dad, bring that baby. Let's get this baby in. You guys are going to have to wait. All right, there it is, folks. What do you think? Amazing. Yeah. There you have it. So it took about two hours. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.